Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Moffitt. Guys, this morning we're going to talk about printers, printers that print on CDs and DVDs. I know it's kind of a dying format, but there's a lot of people like myself that still use printers to print on CDs and DVDs for projects and things that they sell online. My problem is I had for years an Artisan, an Epson Artisan 700, I really love to death. But it's about five years old, and I it's been having a lot of problems. Finally, just broke down, and I, I couldn't fix it anymore. But I didn't really worry about it because years ago I liked the printer so much I bought another one as a spare, a refurbished one, in case this ever happened. So I was all ready to go, and I got it out of the box, and that thing leaked and it leaked and it leaked. I never could fix it. And I'm pretty good at fixing printers. I'm making them last. So I went online to see what they had available. And uh, they don't make the Artisan anymore. And th there are some out there refurbished or used for sale. They're very, very expensive. But uh, I end up buying a Canon. But my point is, of the video, it was very hard to find out what printers that were available that still print on CD or DVDs. Um, some of the printer ads actually, it's almost like they're embarrassed to tell you. It, you, it's almost impossible to find out that they do have that function. So what I did is I made a list of all the printers I could find, the inkjet printers that print on CDs and DVDs, and gave you the prices and, and the model numbers and, and which brand they are. And uh, I'll leave links down below, below the video, if you want to go on Amazon and buy one. If you use the link, they gave me a cut. They gave me a few pennies. If that bothers you, if it's offensive, uh, you don't have to do that. You could just use a name and go in and search yourself. Um, I'm just trying to help out. And if you're going to buy one, it, it, it doesn't cost you a penny if you do it that way. But uh, this here is a list of all the DVD and CD printers I could find. And the one I ended up getting was a Canon. It was a uh, Pixma uh, MG7720. And this is the second important point I want to make in the video. The reason I purchased this particular uh, printer is because it has the function of accepting a uh, continuous inflow system. So I can bypass the manufacturer's ink and not have to pay through the nose for using it for years and years and paying top dollar for the ink. I can just buy bulk ink and fill up the, the uh, continuous inflow system. In fact, this particular printer, it has uh, sellers that are selling little cartridges that have a, a tab where you can open them up while they're in the printer and fill them up inside so you don't even need a separate uh, system with hoses and bubbles and everything with all the problems you sometimes get with a continuous ink flow. So that's the, the second thing I want to tell you. If you're, if you're going to get an ink uh, jet printer that prints on CDs or DVDs, you need to make sure, if you're wanting to save money, that it accepts a continuous ink flow system. Uh, so here we go with the uh, the printers I found. I didn't check if all of these have that feature, if it can accept a continuous ink flow, but these are printers that will still print on CDs and DVDs. So we have the Pixmas. They're, the interesting thing about the Canon Pixmas is that they're all all-in-one printers. They have not just a feature to print on paper or CD or DVD, but they also seem to also have the scanning ability. You've got the Pixma TS9020, TS8020, the MG7720, the MG7520, and the IP8720, which they're calling a crafting printer. I'm not sure why they call it that. And the Pixma MX922. These are all Canons, and they're all all-in-one printers. The next group of printers is manufactured by Epson. And a different thing about the Epson is they have all-in-one printers also, but they also have other types of printers that come with the uh, ability to print on CDs and DVDs. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, the really expensive ones. These are the Epson uh, Super Color, or excuse me, Sure Color Wide Format Printers. They have the ability to print on CDs and DVDs, but they also are used for people who are artists or photographers. I can see a wedding photographer or videographer using these a lot because they would print out their photos and also be able to print on their DVDs. But that they would be the SureColor P400 wide format inkjet printer and the SureColor P600 
wide format inkjet printer. It's not an all-in-one printer, but it does print wide format, and you got to pay a lot extra for that feature. The Epson also has several other printers that are uh, sort of uh, uh, all-in-one printers. You have uh, the Epson Expression Premium XP30. You have the XP640, the XP830, and you've got the XP860 and the XP960. One of these actually has a fax included too. So as you pay more, you're going to be having more features. Uh, if you uh, pay less, you're going to have less features. If all you're looking for, like me, is is a printer that prints out the CDs and DVDs, then you want to get the least expensive one. But if you're looking for a wide format printer, then you want to go for something like the SureColor wide format. Um, and like I said, if you want one with the fax, you have to search here and find out which one has the fax. I think it's the 860. Um, now, there are also some standalone C CD and DVD printers. Uh, I think Epson makes something called a disc producer auto printer, but it's quite expensive. But if you're heavy into printing CDs and DVDs, that might be something you'd want to look into. But for my money, I used my Epson Artisan for years and printed several thousands uh, CDs and DVDs, and, and uh, I never had a problem. So uh, those are some of your options. If you guys come across some printers that have the CD and DVD printing function, let me know, and I'll put a link down below the video. And like I said, if you're wanting to find more, go to the links below the video and go to Amazon and check out the uh, printers. And it took me a long time to find out some of these printers to see if they actually were um, had the ability to print the CD or DVD. Um, the... Uh, Sometimes the manufacturers, I think they're kind of embarrassed. They're like, they almost don't want people to know. So that's the video for this week. I want to thank you guys for watching. Also, a uh, quick note, this this month I've managed to get over 10 million views over the, the lifetime of my channel. I want to thank all my, my, my viewers out there. Um, <laughs> I got some great viewers. <laughs> uh, guys, I really appreciate you watching. And... Uh, if you need to get a printer, and if you never thought about a CD or DVD printing function, you might want to look into it. It's something that, it's another tool up your sleeve. It's something you can uh, produce your own music, print out your own CDs, even though it's a dying format. You can make your own movies, print that out. Or you can even put books in PDF format and put on eBay. I know everybody puts everything on Kindle when they're selling their books, but one thing about selling a book on eBay through uh, such like a CD is they could put that CD onto their Kindle if they wanted to. And once you sell it to someone through eBay, you have their email and you can contact them. You're still in contact with your customers and your readers. Well, when somebody buys a book from you on Kindle, you have no idea. There, There's no connection there. So it's, it's a good way to build up your base of, of loyal readers by selling stuff on eBay, I think. That's kind of overlooked sometimes. Guys, uh, I think that's about it for this video. If you're wanting to find a printer that prints on CDs and DVDs, check out the list and below the video. And don't forget, I put on new stuff every week. I've got a bunch of neat people I feature on my channel. Go check out their channel. And I've got over 500 videos and a whole bunch of playlists on different subjects. And they put on new stuff every week on all sorts of topics, whatever interests me. And if you have any questions about printing stuff on CDs or DVDs, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. And don't forget to make sure your DVD CD printer will be able to take a uh, continuous ink flow system or some other system so you can save your money uh, for spending on that ink. All right, guys, I'm starting to ramble here. Time to go. Take care.